great storm has uncovered an underground army warehouse from times before the evacuation. New London has sent us here to build an outpost and gather any resources we find. We must rely on New London for food. There are no animals to hunt here, and the ground is solid rock. Thankfully, the weather is fine for now, so we should survive without the generator. Until we have... We know what to do. Our first task is to clear the road to the warehouse and start gathering steel. And of course, let us not forget to set up the tents. The night is going to be cold without the generator. Hello and welcome to something completely different. Welcome to Frostpunk. I am playing the DLC called On The Edge and uh, the gist of the story is the main centre New London has survived I will probably never play that playthrough because I am I'm not too good at playing this game as we shall find out in a moment however I've always enjoyed playing this playthrough I've failed every time so we'll most likely fail again but I'm willing to give it a go. But I love playing this game. So let's is let us continue and hopefully survive long enough to actually succeed. Anyway, we've got 65 homeless. Hope is okay. Um so let's let's get some tent sorted. So 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 where do my house to be built? I think I might make this area the housing estate. So here we go. Already Right, so that puts them chaps to work. We get the road there, so clear the wreckage. So we need wood, so we'll get some people on wooden crates. More wooden crates, coal and abandoned warehouse. Right, what I can do is here resource deep no gathering post, that's what I'm looking for. So fifty wood, five steel Working with wood. Uh, get some chaps on that. Right, people want to work on that. But hopefully, I can start getting some wood at some at some pace. More coal. Because my idea is, I do apologise for any sniffles. I have developed a cold. And that's all I'll say about that. Anyway, so yes, gathering post here and work our way towards the beacon. And of course, I've just checked and forgotten immediately. Anyway, can't get there because of the steel wreckage. Right, it's a good view. So there's New London, so those that have seen or played the uh, main story, this is basically what uh, the settlement people are in charge of. So, yes, I've watched Like Burnfire play the story with uh, his companion Zack, and I've thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, and I've also seen um, official Davin do a story game, uh, story playthrough of that, and 
That sounds a very entertaining. Of course, it's not officially Devon anymore. He's split off into various different channels. So, I think he'll probably be on the, his narrative one. Uh, I can't remember what he's called that channel now, but yes. Certainly go have a look, but presumably you've already seen a lot of his work, so I will not tarry on too much about that. Right, let's... Uh, First, houses. I could do with a gathering post here. I suppose that might uh, speed things up. There's some people over there. Back on there, right. So I need three more, and I have the three. Okay. Just enough for that. Just enough for that. Excellent. All my citizens should have houses by the end of the day. Well, tents, hovels, places to stay. Oops. Marvellous. Right, while this is going, I don't know if it's going to be happening, and I can't really do anything at the moment, so... Never mind, I'll read this first. Get in touch with New London. Now, we need to rebuild the transport depot, so we can get supplies shipped from New London before food runs out. To get in touch with them, an outpost administration will be necessary. Excellent. And uh, we can look at that further for my speed of time. And for you, cut this uh, boring bit out because I can't build anything because I've run out of stuff. Right, yes, that's what I need. So, tomorrow, when these are built, work to clear these chaps uh, uh, through. And hopefully, the wreckage is over and done with, which is not much left, so it will be done tomorrow. We can start the process of. Uh, supplying steel and steam cores. So, I shall see you in a moment. And the work shift has started. Hey, that they certainly do. Right. Um, everything is fine. That is, that's his concern. His concern that everything's fine. What's sort of wrong with that man? Oh, that's the one they need to build. So, health, medical post. We'll give them somewhere to go. I could do the tech, but I've got to say, right. I've got plenty of engineers still around, so give them a job, a medical post to uh, help the sick. Still wreckage depleted. Marvellous. Right. Fill to the brim. And give them a road. Also, while I'm at it, I need a place to start scientific endeavours. God, these engineers are slow at building stuff. Right, clear them out, and then I'll worry about building a road. Hopefully they will worry about building a road that's on their way past, rather than these poor buggers that are walking to do it. Post is now manned and the sick have gone down nicely. 
right, return to your jobs. I suppose it's more efficient. Ah, transport depot. Let's get this constructed. And while I'm here, it's not best to put another gathering outpost. There. The road connection. Right then. Hopefully I've cut all that out because that sound point sound disgusting. Anyway. Carrying on. this area a bit clear so I can add more things here. So I know that we need an administration building here. So there it is. Case in point. Just a few more bits of wood and I'll be able to build it in this space. Hopefully. I can't remember how big this building is. Marvellous. Oh, that's a perfect gap. It's right next to the uh, Output, so that makes logistical sense. When all these are constructed, um, I can probably take people out off some of these piles. And which I do now, actually. What's going on with it? This is the most important thing, and I think we can organise laws and so forth later on to um, allow better ships and all that jazz. Right, message. Good day, Outpost 11. Well done with the progress so far. We'll send you the first food shipment soon. Now that the operation is established, we await the first batch of steel from your outpost. In the meantime, we are dispatching a group of clerks to run the outpost administration. Your children will arrive with them. They are surely, they are surely eager to join you. Remember that we can always assist you with any problems. Understood. This is odd. There must have been some misunderstanding. Our children are not opposed to join us, certainly not so soon. It won't make things any easier for us. Well, it's too late to turn them back, and at least New London promised to also send food our way. Hopefully, they'll keep to the schedule. Technology! Right. I can't really do anything with technology advice anyway, so I'll have to wait until day three. On the luck. It's getting colder. Our first cold snap. Our first cold snap just before the workshop starts and we see people flooding towards their places of places of work. It reminds me I need to worry about food. People have gone three days about food. That's generally not a good idea. Right, so let's get that sorted. And that's finished. Let's get some engineers in there, get them to work and clear that spot off. I'm going to assume it's applicable. 20 wood. Looks right. I need to stop saying excellent, don't I? I'm British, but not. not ye olde. Not ye olde, that's even older. Uh, fancy British. Let's 
Like hell, I'm fancy. resource depot there but I'll only have it skeletal skeleton staffed uh, just as it's uh, he keeps a steady supply without using too many people what these chaps do the back up oh yeah that sounds like a thing right what's this then children arrived. Sir, the clerics sent by New London to run the outpost administration are here. They brought our children with them. Many of our people are really upset because it looks like our kids were neglected. They haven't enough warm clothes and some of them caught a cold on the way. I don't know how they feel. But now that they are here, we can make proper care of them. Make take proper care of them. Read well, damn it. We'll do a bit. bit. I can't even say that right. Anyway, someone's being fed. No, they're not being fed, are they? Because they're going hungry. Take them chaps off so they can go and build the kitchen quickly and they can feed. Oh, what's this? Another one. Right. A trove of steam cores. Sir, we have great news. The warehouse contains an unknown but very large number of steam cores. We immediately sent the news to New London and await instructions. In the meantime, we might try to haul at least some of them to the service. This will require stopping the steel extraction for some time. Let me think it over. Oh, that reminds me. I need to be doing steel shipments. Oh, they're already on it. They're already on it. They're already on it. Stop it. Imbecile. Oh, what now? We've heard that a cache of steam cores was found in the warehouse. This is very... This is a very timely discovery. These devices are critically important for the security of our city. Please send a couple of steam cores with each steel shipment from now on. To help you ensure timely deliveries, you are hereby authorized to use emergency shifts. If you encounter any obstacles to your progress, talk to us. I will find the solution. Understood. Emergency shift edict. To ensure the survival of the colony and boost key resource de resources delivery rate from Outpost 11, the government of New London issues an act of the emergency shifts. From this day on, work shifts can be increased up to 24 hours. People are not going to be happy. Oh, by the way, I can actually research stuff. I am neglecting all sorts of things here. This is why I, I play terribly. Uh... Heating's important. Let's worry about heating. So... Braziers. Braziers? Braziers. I, th I would say braziers. No, that sounds like something else. Experiment at the moment. Okay. I was hoping to get more engineers. Hmm. That does free up a lot of people. Let's put kids in the in, in there. As for gathering, take the workers out. Put the kids in. Out. Let's 
Right, I have a nice little reserve now. Even if it means all the kids are being shoved into doing that. Yes. Work's over for today. Time to get some rest. They're going to dislike me a lot for this, but I'm going to have to. the heat. I will sacrifice a bit of this contempt for that. Ah, the bridges have been researched. So, I will see you in a few hours, I will see you in a few minutes. Well, this is a frame. most important. It's worth building a road. I think it's worth building a small road to there. And there, I can put the bridge into there. Keep the people in decent condition, which means now we've got to focus on coal deposits. So, five people in there, and make sure that coal comes in. The children are doing fine. Most of this wood will be gone. First scouts taking their first steps into the outside. <sighs> Someone's dead. Death from overwork. She was a worker, but was a scientist, not a scientist. Hey. Sacrifices was. We must make sacrifices to survive, and right now we need the sacrifice. It's only an engineer. And so, we are on the move again. Right, there's the steady supply of people going to there to clear that wood out. Oh, I know. Did I take a wood off there? Oh, yeah. Right. Past the gathering. So we can try and be a, bit, a little bit more efficient. Seven six apps of teams. Anyway. Deconstruct. Until uh, I don't know, we got a fair while to that coal goes, and a fair while to that coal goes. That wooden pile will literally only take a few minutes. It's literally, one chunk of wood, one plank of wood. Quite guys, it doesn't take this long, does it? Fill it up. All that wood's gone. Everyone's now moving to the new warehouse, so things should be delightful from here on out. 
Is there anything I can do about the one person that died in his workspace? And his body is just probably just in there, in a room, freezing away or decomposing in the corner. And I haven't got anything to put people's bodies in. Anyway, it's cold. About 16 hours of cold, 17. Worried about when it comes to night time. These strain our coal reserves. Is there a way I can get a building relatively quickly to coal thumper? So coal thumper next, and then research that the next tier of technology. Steve Cause. Advantage of the year. Uh, for our business. Aha! Let's see what the scouts have found. Past glory. Perhaps it was a mountain shelter of maybe a military watchtower. A shred of a white flag flutters in the wind above it. God only knows how it survived. There's no telling whether it has always been white or has or has lost all colour over time. Take me some sixteen wood, not too bad. Stone wall. Let's go to the frozen den actually. We'll uh, explore these other two. Head there and we'll choose a path. Let's see what else we can find. Time for a breather. Right. Ha! <laughs> Faster gathered. Rare excellent. Right. Like I said, coal thumper, because we need the coal now. Now we've got it getting stuff to burn, we need it. So, and it might stop the sick people getting sick too quickly. Um, hello, what's this about? More sick beds needed. And I'm going to have a medical post there. Actually, no, 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 not there. Let's keep within the bounds of crazy. Right, I'm just going to speed time for a bit so this medical post can get built rather rapidly. It's not going to be the most efficient medical post, but it is a medical post. And it will be seeing some people go through it. If I take one, per one more person out of there, Excellent. At least I only have to go hop into the next door. A little medical sector here. When I get the to the point that I can have a some sort of hospital, I can't remember the call in this game, but yes. This area will be used. Um, or clear this path to make a thing up. But then again, that might go off my coal pile. Nah, I'll keep going. It's fine. I'll do what I'm saying. I'll put a uh, medical post here. Right. In case anything else happens, I will see you on the next day. The next day will be the final day of this small chapter. The scouts have reached the frozen den. No country for living beings. A terrifying and sad place. An animal that lived here was for a long time feeding on the prey hunted in the area. After searching the cave, we found the predator. A bear mother with young cubs. They are lying huddled together in the farthest corner of the cave. They did not survive the great storm. Carry on. 
Drug by the foot. I need some more built in this uh, paper. Right, in six hours we'll get a shipment of food. Ooh, excellent. And why have I not got any steam cores, people? I need steam cores. Otherwise, we'll be lagging behind on the shipments. Right. I'm going to turn you down. Can I get away with turning these off? Things are relatively warm. I'll turn them off. Right, until something happens, I'm just going to fast forward for a little bit. Because uh, right now, not much is happening. Especially considering I'm not getting any steam cores and it's starting to bug me a little bit. 0.1 of an hour. It's going to take days to get a steam core. This is something I can do in the meantime. Not really. At least not until the research is done for the uh, uh, coal thumper. Anyway, I shall see you if when something happens. Steel is depleted and message. Outpost 11, is there a problem? You haven't dispatched a scheduled steel and steam cores shipment to us. To help you with fulfilling your duties, we grant you the right to introduce extended shifts. Use it wisely. We need a tour. Don't have time for that. Farewell. Well, so much for all the problems. Anyway, extended shifts. Yes. People will have to work until, well, forever. Right. That now frees up many people. Um, what's this about? Children. Child injured at work. A child got distracted at work and has been injured. The accident was not serious and happened entirely to the, due to the child's carelessness. Uh, hope will rise, hope will fall. Rise or fall. Let's just give the child a day off. You injured yourself in a cookhouse? Yeah. Right, these freed up workers will help with the coal thumper when the coal thumper is up and running. I'll put a coal thumper somewhere near the coal deposit. Uh, because, mainly because that's where this is. So if I put the coal thumper near here, it's already got a stream of people ready. And speaking of which, People are complaining about dead bodies lying in the streets. We should ask New London to sign an appropriate law. Let's do it. We looked at the problem and we think we have a law that will solve this. Please be cemeteries. Food will eat it. Snow pits? Great. Mass graves it is then. No banks for graves? Where's the dignity in that? Are we so numb that we are fine at leaving the dead in here heap? Oh, I suppose it's got to be. Right there to remind the people that walk in there that they may never come out alive. Which will be absolutely hilarious on my side. Not for them, but for me. Uh likewise there. Really ridiculous. I really need a number steam core please chaps. You will work for 24 hours until I get one. 
because I really need a steam core. I should play the fucking extended shift as well. Because the flow of technology is important. Right. Come on. Risking quite um, too much, I, I'd say. But it has to be done. Otherwise, we will not get food. And then you'll have worse problems and just be discontented. Finally! Send the shipment! We acknowledge the dispatch of your first shipment. Well done! These team calls mean a lot to our people. We are pleased to let you know that we plan to send you food shipments every day. Just keep those... Just keep these team calls and the steel coming. If the supplies you provide are deemed insufficient, we will have to think of some consequences. And remember, if you run into problems, let us know, and we'll look for a solution. Speaking of problems, I need more people. London's favor is too low. Never mind. The ire rises. Sir. The news that New London is pleased to tell us that they'll keep sending us the food that they owe us to spread among our people, causing a lot of resentment and anxiety, and the vague consequences they threaten us with. Shall we fail to please them, further fan the flames of outrage? All, all everyone is talking about now is how we should use the steam cores to help us first. Since we found them and have no generator, unlike folks in London. Right. It's probably not a good idea to put everyone on an extended shift, but sometimes it has to be done to keep things rolling. Once the work shift starts for day six, I shall call it at that. Until then, I shall fast forward. No pit established. The snow pit is ready. Now we can dispose of corpses. But that doesn't mean people are more content or hopeful. Dumping our dead in the snow is nothing to be proud of. A protective mother. A mother has refused to let her daughter go to work. Afraid she'll get injured. We could look. We could look the other way this time, but others might see it as unfair. I will do it to make hope rise. I mean, she can't get hurt picking up bits of coal. I can get diseased, but can't get hurt. Right, the work shift has started. Ooh. A shipment has reached New London. So, in that case, then the incoming one should be not too bad. Three hours away. Excellent. Well, three and three quarters hours away. But on that note, though, I shall stop it there, and I'll call this part one of this story. So. Hopefully next time I'll be feeling a little bit better, and hopefully next time I won't be sounding so dreadful. Anyway, 